Hi there, and thank you for a lovely warm welcome. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about the most recent story with a few salty sea dog stories because I've spent probably more time on my boat at sea than I have living in my house. So uh, I probably know these salty sea dog stories more than, you know, who my telephone lines with. Um, so I've learned an awful lot having spent quite a long time <laughs> at sea. In fact, I was talking with my boyfriend. We've been together nine years and he spent two of those nine years waiting for me to finish sailing. So absence makes the heart grow fonder or stops you kind of falling into a, a trap. So we're still together, but it's pretty lucky. But 18 months ago, I was in a position that I'm in now where I'd finished my Aviva project, where I'd done the Vendee Globe, become the first woman to sail in both directions around the world. No sponsorship, no future project, didn't really know what was going to happen. And I was in that kind of limbo, not really sure where life was going to take me. And then I had a phone call from Ana Corbea, a Spanish sailor. I had never met her before. I had to look up what she'd done. And her experience was she had done the mini transat, which is taking a 21 foot boat from France to Brazil. That's a really small boat going across the Atlantic Ocean. So I was like, well, she's quite crazy. Not a lot of people do it and come out the other side and still want to go sailing. And she was in a position where her sponsor wanted her to have the possibility to do what's called the Barcelona World Race. And that's to sail around the world, two people on a boat in an open 60. Now she had just experienced 21 days at sea across one ocean in a 21 foot boat. She knew nothing beyond that. And, but this was an opportunity and life's about opportunities. So she had to find a boat and she had to find somebody who knew what they were doing. Ka-ching, my phone rang, yoo -hoo. So she says, how about it? You have the boat, you have the experience. Do you think we should make a team and go and do the race? The whole idea was to have a female team because the boys go and do this sport and it still is a predominantly male sport. And it's every year there's always one or two of us and I've had some great footsteps to follow in. Ellen MacArthur, Emma Richards, Tracy Edwards. They've all been there at mixing it up with the boys and there's still the rest of us in there. So we wanted to put a female team in. And she said, you know, what do you think? Now, when you're going to sail around the world, you've got to think about living. Although it's a 60 foot boat, you live in a 20 foot kind of area for three months with someone that I didn't really know. I'm a pretty sociable person, but that could be quite intense because there's no getting off. There's no swapping anybody in or out. It's you decide to do it and go for it. So the only way I decided that we could make a decision was to go sailing. So she came to the UK in February last year and we stepped on the boat and we decided to sail the boat to Barcelona. So 1500 miles. February, across the Bay of Biscay, huge storms, really bad weather forecast. She spoke Spanish and Catalan, and I spoke English. And we had jackets up to here, hoods down, and we were communicating like this. So she had no idea what I was saying in a completely different language. She'd never sailed the boat before. And 14 days later, we sailed into Barcelona, still smiling, still giggling, We'd run out of food, we'd run out of water. We were desperate to get in to have a shower and we still thought it would be a good idea to sail around the world. So I thought, oh, now I need to really make a decision. Yeah, I could do it. Is this something that's a good idea? Is this race gonna help me progress? Because it's all very nice to have an opportunity, but in my head, my focus is single-handed around the world, the Vendee Globe. I've done it once and now my dream is to do it and be competitive because now I've learned what I'm doing. I was making it up before, but now I know what it's all about and I think I can be competitive. So I needed to make sure I had some kind of progression and sailing with somebody with very little experience wasn't kind of my perfect scenario. But on the other hand, I had a team around me that I trusted implicitly and if we didn't take a project, they were all going to look for work elsewhere 